guys how are you doing we now um created uh, the basics of our application the user can now sign up and sign in and uh, all thanks to laravel now we have to go deep into laravel and start creating uh, modifying some of the tables now if you go to laravel laravel comes to there's a file called go to your laravel application go to database um, go to migrations so this is where Laravel manages migrations. A migration is basically a file where you write your you, you write the tables and fields that will apply appear in your database. Then you run a command in your command line and Laravel will create them in your database for you. So when you're using Laravel, it's not advisable to go straight to your database and start um, creating things directly there. You have to create it in the migrations file. So let's go to users migration and see what's there. If you go to users migration, we'll see that um, they just have exactly what we have in our users table which is our name email password and email is unique now if you want to read about this you want to go to laravel documentation and search for migrations so there i am in my database if we click on users um i think we should have clicked on structures let's click on structure and uh, what you observe is simple there is um, id name email password and uh, if we go to this place we we'll see that there's ID name, email, password. This remember token, um, that's what you have here, remember token. But then there are two fields that are not in our migrations, which is created at and updated at. So if you check this, this is the function that does that. It basically takes the current time and adds it, all right? Okay, so now we understand what migration files are. Let us uh, modify our users table so that it can handle referrals. First thing we need to modify is that we need to know who referred if a user has signed up we need to know who um, referred them which of the, the already signed up users referred them all right so we're gonna do a uh, table uh, um, integer integer then uh, we're gonna simply enter the um, the fields name the fields name could be refer by underscore by so we're we're going to just enter the user id of the person that referred the person but then this field should be optional so we can do it nullable so once you add nullable uh it means the field is optional you can read about migrations if you go to laravel documentation and um head to migration laravel um 5.6 so what you have is laravel.com slash docs slash 5.6 because I'm using 5.6. If tomorrow you're using 5.7, you should just check uh, for 5.7. So um, basically, um, I'm just trying to open it. So um, you just come here and type migrations. And um, you will see uh, all these fields that I'm, um, you read more about it and see all these fields. All right. So the next thing we need to know is how many people has this user um, referred. So we can say table, we can say um, integer, and then we can say number of um, refs. That is no of refs. So even though we're going to make it nullable, we're going to put a default value to it. So let's put a default value. So we'll do a default value that says um the default is zero total number of people you've referred is zero all right the next thing we need to know about this user is the level they have already achieved so in a referral system um you are on you there are different levels a user can achieve for instance they're on level one we can say that a user is um, to reach level one you have to um refer 100 people level two you refer 250 people level three you refer 500 people something like that so we have to have we're going to create a special table for that level but now we're going to just for now link that table we'll say um, integer so it's going to be ref that's for referral ref level underscore id we need to know the id of the referral level and then uh, we're going to keep it null level so we, we still have to create a table called ref levels all right so now we know the level you are in we need to know the kind of user this user is the role they are playing on the site whether they are an admin so we're going to do 
um, roll underscore ID so and uh, of course make it no label all right so now this what this one thought does is tell us whether you are an admin or you are a, a staff managing the platform or uh, you are a user that is contesting in the referral or whatever so you understand so they are similar but different this one shows us the level you've attained as um, a, re a referee or whatever this one tells us the kind of user you are on our platform so now everything is sorted out we are going to have to create two tables as you can see we need to create a table called roles we need to create another table called ref ref levels all right so now to do that we have to go to the command prompt and um, i have to exit i think i created something like this before um, exactly so here in the command prompt we have to create a migration file for that so we'll do php artisan migrate make migration then we'll give it the name of the migration is create um if you look at the migration files you see the, the way they are created you see the files are named create underscore the table name in this case we're doing roles then you put table that's it so we want to create the roles table this is the way we are going to name the file all right so I'll hit enter this is probably going to take a few seconds and then it will be done you don't need internet connection a new file will be created here then we'll do the same thing for for um, the other table called ref level um it has created as you can see it has created a, another migration for roles all right so we need to do this again for um the ref level but that will be in the next video